Welcome to the Investors Trading Academy Economic Calendar of the Week. Each week, our news analysts review the upcoming economic events that you should be monitoring during the week. This week, traders are hoping for a bit less stress after last week's unexpected excitement. Concerns about China ratcheted higher last week after the country shocked the world by devaluing its currency. That raised the spectre of a global trade war, or Beijing was panicking over a more severe economic slowdown than expected. Chinese officials already spooked global investors with their heavy-handed response to the crash in stock prices earlier this summer. The biggest reason why China matters is size. Unlike Greece, Puerto Rico or other one-off situations, China has the scale to impact the entire globe. It's now the world's second largest economy, blowing past Japan and Germany in recent years. China is also the biggest consumer of raw materials like oil and copper, both of which have plunged in recent weeks. A more dramatic decline in Chinese growth could cause commodities to crumble further, unleashing financial havoc on countries that rely on those natural resources. By the end of the week, and after a rare public announcement from the PBOC, reversed market stress. Over the weekend, surveys from the Wall Street Journal and Reuters both pointed to two interest rate increases by the Fed, which should dominate trading this week. Gold should reverse gains while the US dollar surges. A number of Fed policymakers have signaled the first rate increase may come at their September 16-17 meeting. It will take a significant deterioration in the economic picture for me to be declined to move ahead, Federal Reserve Bank of Atlanta President Dennis Lockhart told the journal last week. The week kicks off on Monday with the release of the New York Federal Reserve Manufacturing Index, the Housing Market Activity Index from the National Association of Home Builders, and data on capital flows. On Tuesday, data on housing starts and building permits will be released together with the usual weekly chain store sales figures. The building permits data is the leading gauge on home building. Economists expect that permits fell by 10% in July, but housing starts may have remained stable at a 1.17 million annual rate in the month. On Wednesday, the July Consumer Price Index inflation is issued. Federal Reserve policymakers would prefer to see some evidence that inflationary pressures are picking up before they decide to lift interest rates. The big event of the week will be the FOMC minutes released in the afternoon US time. On Thursday, the leading index is released together with data on existing home sales, the pivotal Philadelphia Federal Reserve Business Survey and the regular weekly data on claims for unemployment insurance.